Right, so this is a review of the Limpremery Hotel in Clichy, Paris. Uh, this is room 102. This is an updated video. I have stayed here many times. This is a standard room. Um, I will apologise in advance for the light. One of the bulbs is out, <laughs> but there we go. Right, so it's a king-size room. This is their standard room. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you've got an espresso machine here, which is quite nice. You usually get two pods, a decaf and a regular. You've got some storage. Hair dryer. Uh, this is new. I've never seen them do this before. Uh, there we go. There's always complimentary water in the rooms. Um, there isn't a fridge in the room, though, so... If you're reliant on that, you're out of luck. Um, very small desk. But actually, none of the rooms here, even the exec rooms, don't have um, uh, large desk areas. Okay, so you've always got USB ports. That's the same in all of the rooms here. This is the, <laughs> the wardrobe. Quirky, maybe? Um, but yep. There's USB only on one side. Um... Some storage. The bathroom. So, yeah, I mean, it's a bathroom. It's a slidey door. So you'll either like it or not, I guess. Um, toiletries. Uh, you do have some nice toiletries um, for your shampoo, shower gel and conditioner. It's Kiehl's, which is very nice. They always, all of the rooms, in fact, have this style shower. So you've got one that controls the shower head on a hose and another which controls the rain shower bit. Now, what I would say, I've stayed here a lot and it's starting to show its age. I'm not sure when it was actually done because it was renovated. So it was an old building years ago and they rebuilt it, or sorry, demolished and rebuilt, and now it's um, a hotel. When they opened, it was the nicest one in the area, in Clichy. But now things like, I've just noticed the handle for the back of this is off. I've been in many rooms where that's dodgy, um, or the buttons are dodgy. Um, okay, the light bulb, okay, it's a light bulb, but whatever but it is starting to show its age. Now, I do still like it as a hotel. Um, it is nice. I had forgotten, perhaps, that the standard rooms have that for the wardrobe, but there we go. If you do need an iron, they've got them at reception. You just ask. Uh, all of the rooms are this style, so they've always got like lights hanging places. It's their theme, which is fine. The air conditioning is really good, so if you're here in the summer, um, highly recommend that. It does have a small bar area, so now this room, which is 102, faces out into where the bar would be, it's here, but you're actually surrounded by residential um, dwellings. So, I don't know, it's not got any views. So if that's what you're after, maybe go and stay in Sacre Coeur, watch one of our other videos, and you'll see a review of that. But yeah, that's it for now. Okay, this is breakfast. Got yogurts, cheeses, fresh bread. These baguettes are delicious. Um, coffee machine. Usually got some eggs, bacon, and sausages, cereal, some meats. I mean, now they used to do fresh eggs for you here. They would cook them as you wanted, but it seems to have gone. Um, small seating area. And there's like an outdoor seating space as well there. That's only a few tables. You can't see it's still a bit early. Right, I'm gonna make a coffee. So I meant to say, you can make your own orange juice here if you like. It's quite popular in the morning, a few people do it. And you've got a selection of teas. 
yeah, that's it. Staff are really friendly here. Um, don't speak very good English at all, so just bear that in mind. Right, so this is the entrance area to the Limpromary Hotel. So it's on a residential street. It's just here. It is open uh, until quite late. If it's really late and you get here, there's a buzzer. You can press that. This is what I mean by it's a courtyard. So you've got an outdoor seating space here. And there's the entrance to the hotel. Got a bar just there. Some of the rooms. You actually have a rooftop terrace. So there's a top tip for you. And there is a gym down here. Gym facilities or fitness center, probably it's called. Just down there. So that ground, uh, sorry, the basement floor here is also where the breakfast is and it points the other way into a small courtyard. So let's take a look at what it's like on the main road. To get here from Charles de Gaulle Airport, you can take an Uber. It'll be about 47, so let's say 50 euros. Got the rack crate. So breakfast's 15 euros, and there's a one euro 88 charge tax per person per night. Four star hotel. And this is the road that it's on. So you have a banner just there. Now, if you are stuck late at night, remember this hotel does not have a restaurant. Uh, this Italian restaurant, the pizza place, very nice. Pizza is their thing, so the pizza is good, the pasta is so-so, but definitely that's the place to eat. There's a very nice boulangerie or bakery just on the corner, on the end, on the left, it's that blue building. Let's go and take a look. It doesn't open on, um, I think it's Mondays. Oh, Monday or Wednesday, let's have a look. If you are in that hotel and you wanted to get some snacks, um, there is a supermarket just at the end of the road, that Intermarché. I think that's open till nine or 10 in the evening. It's a Nicholas wine shop. Uh, at the end of the road, there's a cash machine. This is the boulangerie. It's very nice. Uh, I think it's quite famous. Okay, it's closed on a Wednesday and it opens seven in the morning until eight in the evening. Oh, those things are delicious on the top. The little shoe buns. Yeah, so um, this is also okay if you wanted to drink, to sit outside. And at the end of the road, there's a nice kind of green area with outdoor seating, stuff like that. So you've got this is very busy in the evenings in the summer. Uh, at the moment it is in, uh, sorry, it's end of September, so it's getting a bit cooler now. It's definitely jacket weather. 